All right, guys, we're going to get in the front end of my RR10 bomber, starting with the Pitbull XOR tires uh, paired up with the Crawler Innovation foams. These are the Deuces Wild single stage, and I did add some foam just to take away a little bit of the tire wrinkle. The wheels that they're mounted up to are the 2.2 Moto Works SLW style, and these do work with the VP SLWs, as I will show you right now. These are the 475 SLW hubs from Vanquish, which are a really nice pair for the tire. We are also running the 12 millimeter pinch VP hex. Those are mounted on the VP knuckle with the um, standard Ackerman. Now to match up to the knuckle was the blue monkey weights. Now depending on your SLW size, depends on how much weight you can actually add to this. It comes in a whole kit, which is really nice. Now add it on to the knuckle is the <coughs> C-Hub, scale C-Hub, excuse me, with the pinch bolt, which you can see right here, which is really nice, because if you drop a bolt out of the top or bottom, you still have that pinch bolt in the back, which holds it really well to the axle. Now moving on to the axle itself, these are the Rock Jock Curry axles from Vanquish. Really nice axle, very durable. The insides of this particular axle are going to be the VVDs, which are also from Vanquish as well. These are the 4 millimeters, which tie into what's in the pumpkin, which is the Vanquish Locker. The Vanquish Locker has a, um, or two, excuse me, pinch bolts that pinch the ends of the axles on either end inside the locker which are really nice but if you get the standard axial uh, universals they are too short and they won't pinch down inside of this locker so remember that moving on to the drag link and the steering link are also from Vanquish they are kind of modular in terms of where you place it you can put it behind the servo horn or in front, so it's all, all up to you. Tied on to that is going to be the Robitronics servo horn. This is a 25 tooth long. Now they do make a short and they do make it in two different colors, which is the red and the gray. Um, this is also mounted onto the Futaba BLS 172 SV, which is a great waterproof servo. Um, those are all held on to the axle with the VP clamping um, servo mount or clamp and servo mount combo right here which are really nice keep it nice and sturdy in there don't have to worry about any movement as you can see the suspension setup on this rig starting with the Viterra Ascender upgraded shock these are not the ones that come on the stock version. These are their upgraded version for the Viterra Ascender. I also have the SEX-10 two-stage spring set combo in here. This is the green spring in the bottom and the yellow on top. Moving on, we also have the Vanquish link set for the axial wraith that do fit on this rig. Now I'm also running the RPM rod ends as you guys see most of you guys probably know that they come with Traxxas but I put the RPMs on there for right now. I'm also running as you see the MIP drive shaft set. These are spline drive shafts and they take a beating which is what I put on my trucks is a beating. Moving on to the rear. As you can see I'm also running the Viterra's upgraded shocks but I have the Wraith larger diameter spring in the rear which give me a little bit tighter compression um, these are green and it's still running the two-stage yellow SEX 10 top spring uh, also have the VP links on the top with the RPM eyelets or rod ends and then the special thing about this rear end I'm gonna lift this up just a little bit so you guys can see the blue monkey trailing arms which I really like they are built to take a beating and they are very easy to install and take off and work with. 
Also in the rear that I got from Super Shafty is the MIP male side. Um, they, they make a specific length that you can only get from Super Shafty. So check them out. Um, it'll help you with your setups and wheelbases and so on and so forth. All right, now we're in the back end of this rig and we're gonna get in a little bit into the Curry Rock Jock Center Pumpkin from Vanquish. Now in the Center Pumpkin, you need to run the Jado style rod ends, which are a bit longer than the Traxxas Revo rod ends. So make sure you guys keep that in mind. If you were running the Center Pumpkin, you have to run the Jado rod ends. Um, I also did a little trick feature which is I flipped the um, shock mounts which gave me a little bit more room to put these trailing arm in trailing arms in excuse me I can't talk today but what's really what I really wanted to talk about was what's inside of here which is the VP locker and what's on that which is the axial HD bevel gear and pinion set now I underdrive the rear this set is a 4313 stock should be 3813 which is what I'm running in the front and why I didn't mention it because I wanted to explain a little bit on the underdrive overdrive setup now if you're running overdrive underdrive overdrive underdrive excuse me that's a lot of strain on your drivetrain so if you're doing a little bit more speed and more rock bouncing try and go with the stock tooth and pinion in the front which is 3813 and do an underdrive setup in the rear, which is 4313, which actually will give you a lot more wheel control speed in the rear and more slow, slow crawl speed um, control. So as you're going through something, the front will pull as the rear will push because your wheel speed in the rear is a little bit slower. Uh, in terms of the outer parts, obviously I'm running the same rims from MotoWork 2.2 mounted up with the 475 SLW hubs on the Crawler Innovations uh, Deuces Wild single stage foam with a little bit of foam to take away the tire wrinkle on the Pitbull Rock Beast XORs which I love once again I'll mention for the last time because these tires are awesome. All right, guys, we're going to get into the goodies or the accessories on this rig, starting with the uh, Mad Dog RC lights. These are buckets. These are 700 lumen a pair. And if you don't know how much 700 lumen is, it's blinding bright. Um, these run straight off of a 3S or 12 volt, um, so hook them right in line with your 3S pack um, straight to your ESC and they will light your way in the middle of the night. Going into the wench setup, I have the Wordy Made wench mount, which I highly recommend because it actually has two functions. It actually stiffens the front end and holds your winch. So if you're looking to stiffen up the front end, that's actually a cheap and easy way to do it. Mounted on the uh, winch plate is the SSD fair lead. Um, I like the fair lead. It's not branded and it's plain and simple um, and it actually kind of matches the tires a little bit now we're going to go under the hood and check out the winch uh, but first we're going to look at the hey okay wireless winch controller which i'm just going to bring into the shot right quick um, this is the controller i did make a video and an unboxing on this um, particular setup so you guys can check that out i won't go into a whole lot of deal Deta detail, excuse me, um, but that's the wireless winch controller. Now we're going to rotate the rig, open up the hood. Now this is going to be the KMS 480 ounce winch. Um, the line or the test that's on there, it's going to be deep sea line. It's going to be super heavy duty. I pulled two rigs at once with that one line and it didn't break. So um, and anybody who knows about that winch or has seen the video of him pulling a, uh, a floor jack off the ground with that winch already know that that winch is built tough and will pull anything that you need to pull out of anywhere. Now 
Now we're gonna swing to the back. Um, if you guys have been following my channel, you guys seen that I did a, a rear tire mod. Uh, my friends are calling it the 5150RC rear tire mod. Um, it's pretty simple. Check out the video. I actually do the mod on video, but it comes out pretty cool. It's fairly even with the roof, with the tire, um, and it looks pretty good. All right, guys, we're going to get to the heart of this beast. Uh, but first, I wanted to show you how easy it is to access that. Uh, I'm not the first one to do this, so I'm not claiming that I found this little trick about this chassis at all. Uh, first, you start off with uh, opening up your hood, opening up your, your battery tray, and then you're going to remove about 12 bolt, or, uh, screws. Excuse me. Uh, one, two, three, four, two on the dash, and then the four on the opposite side, and then two more on the rear deck. And then if you just pull apart the cage in a couple of different spots here, you're able to slide the whole center right out. Axial fist. Aloha. So I'm going to start in the front and I'm going to kind of work my way back in the, um, in the inside here. This is a control module for the Mad Dog RC bucket lights. Um, you don't have to solder it in. You don't have to do any of that stuff. You have to solder your leads on, but you don't have to solder that in. So that's that's pretty easy. Moving on to the Crassel, moving on to the Castle Creations Mamba Monster X. Now this is a brand new ESC from Castle Creations that they released uh, earlier this year. Uh, I am very impressed with this it has a cool little feature it's got an auxiliary cable wire whatever you want whatever you want to call it that runs straight to your receiver which allows you to control a multitude of different functions I have it hooked up on my drag brake so it basically allows me to choose how much drag brake I have on the fly so for instance if I hit my switch one way, I got 75% drag brake. If I hit it the other way, I have 5%, which allows me to roll out and not put a whole lot of stress on my transmission. Um, speaking of my transmission, I am running the two-speed hot racing kit with a axial mod. Um, we'll go into a little bit more depth on one of the other rigs that we're gonna review for before Axial Fest because uh, you can see it a lot better than on this particular rig. But it is the Hot Racing 2-speed with an Axial 2-speed mod, if you want to put it that way. Um, but I am driving the 2-speed um, with the Tactic TS-X57 Digital MG Servo. This is a very inexp inexpensive servo, and it works very well for what it needs to do. Um, Powering the whole be the whole beast is going to be the Tekken Pro 4 HD 3000 kV censored motor and yes, this ESC is finally censored from Castle. Thank you! Um, uh, gearing, I'm running the centered spur gear stock tooth from Axial with a Robinson Racing 13 tooth. Um, now, I do run a little warm, so I would suggest playing with that pinion size or spur size, um, depending on your liking, obviously. I also have my 10 amp BEC from Castle Creations. That is running the power straight to my servo. And then this little guy over here is gonna be my Hey OK wireless winch controller. Um, it is dipped, so it is waterproofed. I wouldn't say it's waterproof because I won't test it like that because I don't feel like blowing it up. But um, I do have an unboxing and review video on this guy. So check that out if you guys need some more information. But other than that, that's the heart of the rig. Thank you guys very much for watching. Please comment, subscribe down below. 